Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here from Keep It Techie, where I help you learn Linux and break into the tech field one command at a time. And today we're going to check out something I know a lot of folks have been waiting for. The brand new Pop! OS 24.04 LTS beta from System76. Now, before we get into it, I want to ask you guys a quick favor. If you enjoy Linux distro reviews, tutorials, and tech breakdowns, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps Keep It Techie grow and it lets me keep creating content to help you level up your skills. All right, let's jump into it. So let's start with some background. If you've been following Linux distros for a while, you probably heard of Pop! OS. It's developed by System76, the company that builds Linux laptops and desktops. Now what makes Pop! OS interesting is that it's not just a repackage of Ubuntu. Instead, System76 uses Ubuntu as a base and then add its own layer of polish, optimization, and tools that really focus on usability. Now Pop! OS first came on the scene back in 2017 as a System76 project to provide a clean, powerful desktop experience for their hardware customers. But over time, it picked up a reputation outside of System76's laptops and desktops because it works so well on other machines. People liked the way it handled things like hybrid graphics, switching between Intel AMD integration graphics and Nvidia GPUs. That's something that most distros struggle with at the time. Now this latest release is all about the cosmic desktop environment. And in earlier versions, Cosmic was essentially a customized GNOME shell with tiling features and System76 tweaks. But with 2024, Cosmic has been completely rebuilt from the ground up using the Rust programming language. Now that's a huge step. System76 is no longer leaning on GNOME under the hood. Instead, they've been creating their own desktop environment. So that means a new window manager, new compositor, and new core apps like Cosmic Files, Cosmic Terminal, Cosmic Text Editor, Cosmic Media Player, and even a brand new Cosmic Store replacing the old Pop Shop. Now under the hood, it comes with Linux kernel 6.16, so pretty fresh hardware support. Also Mesa 25 drivers for AMD Intel graphics and Nvidia driver 580 package for modern graphics core. Also updated Wayland and X Wayland libraries for display handling. Now being a beta, you're going to see some bugs and incomplete features. For example, drag and drop doesn't always work perfectly between Wayland and X11 apps. Also some apps don't show up correctly in a notification tray. And in the screen reader, accessibility isn't fully polished yet. And one thing else I noticed, there have been reports of certain games that may launch offset or partially off screen. So full screen hotkeys are needed. But that's all part of running a beta. This is your chance to test, play, and give feedback before the stable release lands. So with that overview in place, let's move into the installation process. All right, so we're booted up into the live ISO and it pops up with the installer. And I just wanted to quickly walk you guys through it. First off, you wanna select your language and then select your location and then the keyboard layout, boom. And then your input language, which is English. I'm gonna use default, so just select based on where you are. And then you have two options here. You can do a clean install and this will erase everything on the hard drive for the system that you're booted up in. And then the custom, so you can manually set up your partitions and all that good stuff. So let's go down and do a clean install. And it's gonna ask you to select your drive and then erase and install. And it's already installing in the background. They just want you to set up your accounts. So I'm gonna just put Josh in there and then your password. And you'll see that it's running in the background once we get to the next step. And yeah, let's hit next. And if you wanna set up encryption, you can. I'm not gonna set up encryption, but this is a good benefit if you are using this on your main system. That way your operating system is encrypted and all your files are encrypted. But I'm gonna hit don't encrypt. And then as you can see, it's already going in the background with the installation. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so the installation is complete. Let's go down and restart. And I believe the first thing that will pop up is a setup of Cosmic. 
All right, so this is the login page. I wanted to show you guys this. This is super cool. The cosmic greeter that they have set up. And if you go up in here under sessions, you'll see that we're using cosmic and it also, it should be using Wayland. But let's go down and, and log in right fast and go through the initial setup. All right, so I'm logged in. Let's go through the welcome screen. And like I said, this is a beta. So you might see a couple bugs like down here at the bottom. I was adjusting the display just so you guys can see it a little better. But as you can see, it glitches down here at the bottom, but it should correct itself after our welcome screen. So let's go hit next. You can set up a Wi-Fi if you need to. I'm gonna hit next, that's fine. The United States, keyboard layout, the closest city. So let's go with Los Angeles and then hit next. And then let's set up our appearance. So you can go with cosmic dark lights. I like this one right here, the cream light. That looks cool. Let's change it and see what it looks like. Let's go with that one. Ah, and there we go. It fixed a lot of it. That's dope. Like I said, once you start messing around with it, it'll fix a lot of the issues that we're probably seeing. Like for instance, the layout configuration, you can do the top panel or bottom dock, which we already have set up that way. Or you can go with just a bottom panel. I'm gonna just leave it at the top. Actually, let's click on the bottom panel so you guys can see the options that you have. Boom, that's the bottom panel. And then this is the top panel and bottom dock. So let's roll with that because that looks cool. And workspaces, this showing you guys what you could do with it. Let's go next here. That's your keyboard shortcuts. It talks about it. Let's go finish right here. So we're good to go. Press the super key. Yeah, that'll open up the search. Cool. So we are done. We are set up. Okay. Now that we've got it installed and running, let's talk about how Pop! OS 24.04 feels and what I think about it so far. First off, the new Cosmic desktop is ambitious. Like I said, this isn't just a skin on top of GNOME anymore. It's its own desktop environment written in Rust, which gives it a modern foundation. To me, it feels snappy, it looks consistent, and it's built to solve real pain points for Linux desktop users. Now, hybrid graphics are still a top priority. Pop! OS was one of the first distros to make switching between integrated and discrete GPU practical. In 24.04, that's still front and center. So if you're on a laptop and you game or do heavy workloads on your NVIDIA GPU, then Pop! OS makes it straightforward to control when and how you use it. Now, one thing I saw that was super cool is the default apps. They feel very integrated. For instance, Cosmic Files, Cosmic Terminal, and Cosmic Store give you that out of the box consistency that other distros sometimes lack. You don't feel like you're jumping between random tools thrown together. And this is something that I've always talked about with Pop! OS. It uses Ubuntu as a base, which means wide compatibility. Because it's still Ubuntu under the hood, you get access to an enormous library of packages and third-party software. And you're not cut off from the ecosystem just because the desktop has changed. Now, lastly, I love the forward-thinking design. The tiling window support, keyboard-driven launcher, and panel customization all makes this a distro that really focuses on productivity. It's not flashy for sake of flash. It's designed to help you work faster. Now, in order to make this review legit, I need to cover some of the weaknesses and concerns. For one, it's a beta, so this is not stable yet. You will run into bugs. That's not a knock on System76, it's just where the project is right now. And if you need rock solid reliability for work or school, you may want to wait for the final release. Also the learning curve for new users, while beginners can definitely jump into Pop! OS, Cosmic does have its own workflow and shortcuts. If you're coming from Windows or even standard GNOME, you'll need a little adjustment period. Now some areas are missing a little polish. For example, the new Cosmic Store doesn't yet show Flatpak suggested add-ons, some accessibility features are half-baked, and a few settings are still inconsistent. Those are things that will improve over time, but they're worth noting. Now a couple of hardware quirks, as with any Linux distro, especially one in beta, there may be laptops or desktops where certain drivers don't behave perfectly. NVIDIA users in particular should keep an eye out for edge cases. Now, who is this distro for? This is something I like to cover in all my reviews. If you're a developer or a creator who wants modern tools and GPU flexibility, then Pop! OS is a fantastic option. Also, if you're a gamer on Linux, especially with a hybrid graphics laptop, 
Pop! OS is one of the best distros you could try for that. Now, if you're an early adopter or enthusiast, you'll have fun testing the new Cosmic environment and giving feedback. I know I've been doing that since I got my hands on it, but if you're someone who just wants to set it and forget it, Linux desktop that never glitches, I'd wait for the stable release before making a switch. And so that wraps up my first look at Pop! OS 24.04 LTS beta. To me, this release shows that System76 is really betting on the future of Linux desktops with their own environment. It's bold, it's modern, and while it's not perfect yet, it's exciting to see a company invest this heavily in desktop Linux. Now, I want to hear from you guys. Are you planning to test out the beta or are you going to wait for the stable release? Also, what do you think about Cosmic becoming its own desktop environment. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I love to hear your perspective. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss more Linux content from me here at Keep It Techie. Thanks for watching. Keep experimenting with Linux, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway, so why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills, it opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.